God. Is it got anything to do with the cloth? No, absolutely not. But it's what? It's a point of contact. <laughs> you, give the, you give one of them prayer cloths to some unsuspecting individual, it'll change their life. They'll be like, hey, listen, I don't know what in the world you give me, but hey, it's changed my life. Those that believe in the power of a prayer cloth, you take it to somebody that's in need, amen. It, it's not got anything to do with that cloth, amen. It's got to do with the power. The power. Amen. It's a point of contact. But who you go and you give it, if God uh, spoke to you about coming to get one of those prayer cloths, I've seen a lot of people come and get them. I think there was only two left today. The other day, I think there was none left. Wednesday, there was none left. The obedience of God, though, is not for you just to come and to be obedient and to get one. It's what has God spoken to you about to do with it now. The next step. Got it in your possession. That's half the battle. Now the devil's going to show up and say, Man, don't give that to them. They'll think you're crazy. They won't think, they will, they will, listen, I know the devil. I know the devil. Hunter, he used to, the devil used to get me in trouble all the time. He'd be like, I'd be okay, he won't nobody ever find out. You do what you want to do. When the rubber met the road and I got in trouble, even when I was a little kid, the devil, he was nowhere to be found. He was a hundred miles away and I could hear him laughing. Because he hung me out to dry. He wasn't going to be there to take the fall I was. I know the devil. I, I know his tricks. I know how he likes to, to talk. I know how he likes to, to, to manipulate things and to, to make it look like dress it up. Marcus has the best analogy for it. He'll dress sin up like Cinderella at the ball. But when the clock strikes midnight, patang. When it all comes crashing down, <laughs> he'll leave you hanging and you'll be exposed for exactly what you are. Amen? But we need to learn to listen to the Spirit of God. Amen? What you do with it now, the devil, he'll try to deceive you and tell you to keep it in your pocket. That's just for you. You'd be all right. It may be. I'm not saying it's not. It may be for you. I used to carry a lot of things in my pockets. Uh, that were for nobody else but simply for me. I, I would just, I'd have a cross in my pocket sometimes. I, I carried a, I can't remember what it was. I carried something. I can't remember what it was for a long, long time. A rock. Maybe it was a rock in my pocket. I, was, I carried a chain in my pocket for years. Three lengths of chain. I carried that in my pocket for years. And it wasn't for nobody else. It was just simply for me. It was remembrance. Every time I stuck my hand in my pocket to get change. There was them three lengths of chain that God, that chain had been broken off my life. Amen. Remember, it's that the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost that had set me free. There it was, that chain. Uh, that cross in my pocket, remembering what God did for me on the cross, His Savior. Amen. That He bled and died, that I'd never forget that. Personal thing. But if God has spoken to you to give it to somebody, don't get, don't, don't, I, I encourage you. Uh, not to sneak around. The devil's sneaky. God, he'll be right to the point. He's up front. Amen. Amen. He's right here. He, he, he told him exactly. He walked in there, what, into the temple. And turned them money changers' tables over. And he said, you've turned the house of God into a den of thieves. Amen. He didn't go behind their back. I want you to be bold as a lion. Because he is a lion. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. Amen. He is a lion. A roaring lion. Amen. And we are the children of God. Listen to the Spirit of God. Amen. Heed to His calling. Heed to His word. Amen. Trust Him. Follow Him. As Jamie and Christian come and get a song, praise team, whatever y'all want to do tonight. Amen. I would that you stand to your feet. If this word is spoken to you tonight, I want you to come up and let's get in line and let's worship God. Amen. Let's get around this altar and let's worship God one more time before we go home tonight. Amen.
God bless you, and I love you. Amen. And most importantly, Jesus loves you. Thanks for joining with us for the broadcast from New Beginning Worship Center in Greenback, Tennessee. We are located at 6501 Highway 411 South in Greenback, Tennessee, zip code 37742. Emails may be addressed to nbwcmailbox at gmail.com. Pastor Marcus Severance and the congregation invite you to join with us Sundays at 10 a.m. for teaching, followed by worship services at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. We also meet midweek at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. We're located on Highway 411 in Greenback, Tennessee, just three buildings down from the intersection of Highway 95. If you can't meet with us in person, please join us again next time for our broadcast.